is now in station for those who are unaware of my name is Savannah Prime. I'm a senior magistrate with Court Victoria. Let this be a warning to y'all not to uh, be silly or I will destroy you. Now, prosecution, please introduce yourself to me while I'm here to die. Uh, hello, Your Honor. I'm First Counsel for S. Aries. Uh, currently here today uh, prosecuting Timo Palmo on the charges of possess of declass firearm without legal authority, I resist arrest and possessing legally modified weapon and or accessory without legal authority. Okay, what evidence do you have? Uh, the firearm, the firearm's accessory, um, my stat deck, um, and another officer's stat deck. Okay, you may approach to hand over any physical evidence. Oh, of course. But you can tell me that's fine. So I got, is this, uh, oh, it's got the, the clip on it. Okay. Yep. The and what's the second thing you handed me? Uh, 266 uh, 9mm bullets. Okay. Uh, what's 244 and 22 is in the weapon. Okay. So just the bullet and the gun? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, no problem. You can take a seat. Defiance, please stand and introduce yourselves. Welcome. Uh, Your Honour, my name is Andy Miles. I am representing Mr. Pimo Palmo in this court case. Okay, Mr. Miles, your client is standing the keys of three separate charges. Do you understand what these charges mean, or do you need me to read the law to you? Uh, I do, Your Honour, but perhaps if you read it for the rest of the court. Uh, okay. Alright, so the charge of possess a Class B weapon without legal authority is being in possession of any B Class Mate. firearm, including SMGs and shotgun weaponry, etc., without a lawful reason. Does your client plead guilty or not guilty? He pleads guilty, Your Honor. Okay, the charge of resist arrest. Charge as written is attempting in any way, physical or otherwise, to prevent police. From arresting you or someone else, do they plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty to that one, Your Honor. And on the charge of possessing a legally modified weapon and/or accessory without legal authority, the charge as written is possessing any kind of weapon that has been illegally modified or possessing the components to perform said modification. Does your client plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honor. So guilty for possess the firearm, guilty to possess the, the modification, but not guilty to resist arrest. That is correct. And are you using any witnesses or evidence today to support your not guilty plea? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We have a document of purchase of the weapon and a witness we would like to call to the stand at one point. Okay, what's your witness's name? Uh, Your Honour, due to the nature of the incident he has described to me, um, he would prefer to remain anonymous. Um, he believes that the uh, incident that occurred was, uh, say, a drive-by and possibly uh, gang-related. Well, how are you going to have a witness here if they're going to be anonymous? Uh, Your Honour, is it possible for the witness to show you identification uh, and be referred to only as the witness during this case? I'm fine with that. I'll go here. Uh, they are. Witness, would you like to come forward? Just there, Your Honor. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I will need Victoria Police to confirm that identity. I don't have the, the means to confirm license photos. If the witness is happy to do that, I'm happy to have the witness here. Okay. That's fine. You can take a seat, Mr. Man. 
uh, you may take the seat if that's everything defense and we will hear from the prosecution. Thank you, Your Honor. Prosecution, you have eight minutes. No worries, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, on the 20th of July 2024 at approximately 12.20 midnight, I, First Constable S. Aries as Port 200 and First Constable Oscar Wright as Mel 201 uh, were parked on the side of the road next to Old Job Centre, uh, which is next near Red Garage, uh, when around six individuals with Class C firearms started shooting at an, in, in, at an individual next to Red Garage. Myself and First Constable Oscar Wright retreated a distance back and immediately called for additional units. Before additional units could arrive, the individual shooting the Class C firearms left and one unconscious individual was left on scene. The unconscious individual who was shot at, now known as PMO Palmo, was rendered unconscious from multiple submachine gun and assault rifle bullets, with officers notice, noticing a mini SMG in his hands. Mel 201 Oscar Wright then performed medical, seized the mini SMG and 244 9mm bullets from Mr Palmo and then took him to Mount Zona Hospital for further treatment while being cautioned on the drive to Mount Zona. Uh, the mini SMG that was on Mr. Palmo's person had an extended SMG clip. Uh, Mr. Palmo was then treated, and as I went to cuff Mr. Palmo after treatment, he resisted and broke cuffs. Uh, he was then cuffed again and taken back to Mel 900 for processing. He was fingerprinted and uh, confirmed as PMO Palmo. Um, previous charges in the last two weeks would be carry a weapon openly without legal authority, possess an illegally modified weapon and or accessory without legal authority, and two times possess a C-class weapon without legal authority. Uh, that's it, you know. Okay, you can have a say. Thank you. Defense, you have eight minutes to uh, provide any, I guess, rebuttal or defense there specifically for the resist arrest charge. And if you'd like to also discuss uh, whether or not you're seeking leniency on the guilty charges, that's fine, but I want to know why I should give you leniency as well. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, so I guess initially, uh, let's start with the resist arrest charge. Um, for this, uh, could I please call my client for the stand? Yeah, yes. You also have the option to bring your prosecution to the stand too, if you should choose to do so. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, can you state your name for me, please, uh, Mr. Person next to me? Uh, yes, Your Honor. My name is Pimo Palmo. And Mr. Palmo, uh, you promise not to mislead the court at a threat of perjury? Yes, Your Honor. You may proceed, defense. Uh, Mr. Palmo, can you please describe to me about what you remember of the time leading up to your arrest? So, uh, I woke up in hospital and I was recovering from multiple gunshot wounds. Um, still dazed from the drugs that were administered to me um, to help me recover. And suddenly two police officers surround me saying that I'm under arrest. And um, when I got up out of the bed, I was forcefully placed into handcuffs. I was scared. I, I didn't know what was going on. I, I pulled away. And then when I realized what was happening, I, I, I didn't leave. I didn't try and get out of the room. I didn't try and run away. I, I just stood there and I let them cuff me again. I, I'm really sorry for going through this. Um, and so you're saying that uh, after this extensive surgery that you had to patch yourself back up from these multiple gunshot wounds, uh, you would describe yourself as extremely disorientated and uh, unsure of your surroundings. Is that correct? Yes, that's exactly right. Good. All right. Um, and I do have one more question for you, Mr. Palmo. Um, do you have a concealed carry permit? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but the uh, nine millimeter ammo that was uh, taken off Mr. Palmo uh, during the seizure should have been returned to him. Is that right, Your Honor? I'm not the one on trial here. You're not asking me questions. Okay. Um, the other question I have for you, Mr. Palmer, is did you receive any kind of search receipt for the incident? Uh, 
No, I've not received any search receipt at all. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Palmer. Uh, that's all. All right. Uh, Your Honor, I do have a uh, receipt that I wish to show you in regards to the purchase of the uh, weapon as described. Can I ask, what is the relevance of the receipt of an illegal firearm here? Uh, the receipt was, so this weapon was purchased uh, over in Queensland. Um, the weapon came as is. It was not modified uh, by uh, Mr. Palmer himself. Um, the reason for bringing this up, Your Honor, is because uh, my client did not, uh, was not fully aware of the legality of having that weapon. Um, as this was purchased through a reputable website from a private seller um, and okay, we're so seeking so leniency. You've already, okay, you've already pled guilty to those two charges. Uh -huh. Anywhere in Australia having an SMG is illegal. So I'm just going to save you some time and I'm going to direct you to really discuss here why you believe he is not guilty of resist arrest. Okay, Your Honor. Um, in that case, I believe... Uh, that the circumstances behind uh, the arrest of Mr. Palmer um, was uh, quite understandable. I believe any uh, person would act the same way in his situation, waking up after in a lot of pain, I would imagine, dazed on drugs, surrounded by people. Um, he was scared and understandably um, had some sort of reaction but I do not believe that Mr. Palmer was trying to resist arrest or make an escape. Uh, I, with that, I believe that defense will rest. You do have 10 minutes left. Did you want mystery man up here at all? Um, Your Honor, I think we will leave that for the moment. Okay, you can have a seat. Thank you, Your Honor. Victoria Police, uh, in regards to Mr. Parmo, what's his criminal history like in relation to firearm offences? Uh, Your Honour, sorry, one second, let me set up for you, sorry about that. So in the last two weeks, uh, we've got a possession of B-class firearm that legal authority. Uh, that's the wrong one, I'm so sorry. So, sorry, uh, in the last two weeks, so, so far I'm related, in the last two weeks, carry a weapon openly without legal authority, possess an illegal modified weapon and or accessory without legal authority, and two times possess a C-class weapon without legal authority. Right, so you got four charges in two weeks alone related to firearms. Uh, correct, Your Honor, correct. This would be the, the fifth. Uh, correct, Your Honor, yes. Okay, I've made my decision. So, in relation to uh, the firearm charges, defense, you pled guilty to possession of a firearm and possess an illegally modified weapon, so you will be found guilty. In relation to resist arrest, this is an interesting one, uh, as defense does provide some plausibility that they may have been uh, groggy or they may have been uh, unsure of their whereabouts at the time that the cuffs were laid. Uh, prosecution, you very, very briefly glimpsed over the uh, the actual moment of arrest. I believe all you stated was that they or resisted arrest and then you moved on quite quickly. So you didn't really explain to me the actual actions or anything that actually occurred that would imply that the person resisted arrest. So in relation to that, I'm inclined to side with the defense here and they are going to be found not guilty of resist arrest. Now, I understand there's some semblance of, I guess, a defense as to why y'all should get some sort of leniency here, but it's very unclear and muddy. And given your history, um, it's not looking too good, especially in the last two weeks. Four separate gun charges doesn't really instill me uh, or you with much confidence, to be completely honest. But you have done the right thing. You've come on down to court. You've got yourself a lawyer, which I do appreciate. And as a result, you will be receiving 60 weeks in the Port Phillip prison. My ruling is final. Court is to smile. Pro 
prosecution. Please go. Well done, Pimo. We love you, Pimo. Pimo, we will support you through this. Yeah, my boy. Pimo, Pimo, I love you, Pimo. Oh, I'm dropping it live. Got this, brother. Someone pick me up from prison. Thank you for your service, Andy. I got guns. Oh, Andy. Cheers, brother. Love you, Andy. Hi, Andy. There you are. Thank you. No worries. I'll just wait for a sheriff or a cop to come back and get you yeah. out. <laughs> uh, process behind getting that ammo back? Um, oh, Probably too you know late what? now. We'll just let it go. Um, yeah. It's... Oh, man, when she... Oh. She brought up... Damn it. I mean, Category D is legal in... It is a Category D firearm. It is legal in Victoria. So we could have... I could have argued that, but... Mm, that's um, all right. Yeah, because I'm pretty into my firearms. Um, okay, fair enough. Damn, we could have we could have worked it, but it's okay. Sixty weeks, uh, dude. 60 it's weeks not two hundred and fifty. Yep, yeah, I'll take that yeah. every um, day of the week. Maybe. Yeah, I've, that I've, has, I've, that door over there will be unlocked. Can you just go down there, run down there, and just say, "Can someone please let me out?" 